Hello again. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I put gum in my mouth. I don't even know why. So let's see how much of a horse. I already feel like I need to just spit this out. But a girl in game and a goal. You are here at my channel. I am D, the girl. The game is Legendary Forest. And the goal is going to be unboxing it and seeing what is inside the box. So this is a two to five player game, eight years old and plus, 20 minutes. And it is, I guess, designed by Tashiki Sato. Sorry if I destroyed that name. Um, and Bibun is the illustrator. It's really pretty. It's from Yellow Games. And on the back, nice little simple draw a tile to grow your planet and create the most beautiful legendary forest of all. So it is obviously a tile laying, which is another one of my go-to favorites. I gotta spit this gun out. I apologize for that. I will never do that again. Let's get our ruler to crack this bad boy open. Um, <laughs> You know what? I haven't even looked at my um, other videos for today because, you know, I'm making like five maybe in one sitting so that, that way I have one a day like the vitamins and I'm trying to make them as uh, under 20 minutes as possible 15 if I can control my shenanigans and my silliness but we shall see so ooh, I cannot see because they're dirty for some reason so legendary forest um, again the tactile that feeling of some of the picture is glossy and some of it is not and I'm still cleaning my glasses from the other hand but you can see it see the glare oh that is so pretty that was like Cristallo it was Cristallo that had the animals that did that and then there was Nova Luna whose box was like that and now this one all right these are cleaner than they were a few seconds ago so what's up people let me see. <laughs> um okay let me just open it because you know honestly i don't know a whole bunch about this i don't know why i don't know a whole bunch about this but i know that i saw it um played on um dice tower i think it was uh not played but like reviewed and you know how um they usually do a little quick this is what's all about i believe it was z garcia who did it so, um, and tiling is my favorite. The beauty of it, I just kind of, um, gravitated towards, like, this, I don't know, like, the geometry of the, the planes over here, but then, like, this growth that, uh, it just, like, the juxtaposition of, like, natural and, like, so structured, just beautiful. I sound like I'm so educated, but <laughs> no, but I'm a math teacher, and so <laughs> all my stuff lines up, um, and so I saw the, the, the geometry, you know, like these little shapes and like how hexagons all work together, but I love arts and crafts, and you know, if you look at the description, you'll see all the different things that I say I do, or that define me, and links to all my other channels, as I've said repeatedly in all my videos, and will do, because... I just gotta get faster at it because maybe this is the first time you're visiting me so um we are the rule I'm not gonna learn how to play right now because it's a two-player game but basically it's you're the role of dryads forest spirits so you have um cards world tiles no the world tiles have um fronts and back so they're not cards the rule book tree tokens and construction tokens and that's basically all so interesante um hmm. describes a little bit more about what you see on the elements of the game so five players is the maximum so i see that there are five colors of these little druids um and the tree tokens Victory points are scored. Construction tokens indicates who gets the tree first. All right. Then there's a setup. There's a course of the game. Um, and you've got um, the little descriptions. Everything seems very clear. You have examples of what is good and what is not good. 
you have examples of how to, I guess, figure out how to calculate your victory points because of... So, I like it. I, it's nice and clear. Um, Epic Mock-Up is an original game. Okay. So, the rule book, thin, thin enough, not too heavy paper, but very clear and pretty. Um, you have the tokens. I think they said they were wood. So, let's see. Yes, I'm sniffing it, right? Now, this is the... You know, this is weird. Hold on a second. Because, you know, I just... I don't know. Yeah, you tell me <laughs> how those two look the same. <laughs> oh, my God, that is so funny, right? There's no other little guy in here. Nope, that's it. So, this is very odd to me that this is the token and it doesn't look look anything like that i mean vaguely and it's so bright but anyway it's not a deal breaker but it's just it just tickled my fancy so yes it is made out of wood as well as these guys so my only thing is like um i'm not worried about irregularities just that how thin the wood is but the wood is pretty pretty thick um is it compressed wood? I don't know. And I'll show you why I'm saying, like, is there something going on with the wood? Because of the quality. So if I bring this up, I don't know if it's going to want to focus to me, to you. Can you see the stri stri striations there as if this is sandwiched wood? Right? Right? So it's just like, yeah, yeah. But other than that, they are pretty. So... You get three different colors. It tells you how many you get in each color. I'm not going to count, count. Um, but you get the pinkish color, the reddish color, and the orange. -y. I don't know. It's like, to me, this is not yellow, but it's not orange. I guess goldish color is like a happy medium. And then the token. Um, and then we get a bunch of... You know, the game is, feels heavy, but because you get like a bunch of punch-outs, right? And you also get... This box also has a lining, so don't ask me why I'm trying to take this lining out. I'm just being like OD like that, right? There's nothing in here, nothing behind there, you know? I, you know why? Because not that this would fit in with this game, but there have been games where people have gotten games. And basically, there have been things hidden under panels. Extra special promo cards. Now, of course, nothing's going to be hidden in there. But I had to just go there. I had to go there. So, here we go. We've got... Um, all of these are just squares. Different colors with the different things on here. And the different colors. And... You know, like that. So you'll notice that there are ones on there because there is a starting tile to start your... So you're making your own tableau. So I think that I'm, I'm, I'm going to pop them only because why not we're here. So I think... And I'm going to leave it like this because I, I don't have enough baggies. These, this bag is not going to cut it. So what I would do is I would get some baggies, which I'm not going to search for while we're, we're doing this right now. And I would probably put each of the colors of the forest people in a separate baggie. Now, if I recall, does this have a Karuba-esque? I think this has a Karuba-esque feel to it. And if you don't know Karuba, that's another game that is pretty good. Um, it's, it's one of those games where you're playing with... <laughs> so you're playing with each other. <laughs> you're playing with um, other people, but you have your own independent board. So there's interaction in over the table. You know what? You know what that game is. That game is kind of like the perfect game for a game night group who want to chat. You know, and so you are not dependent upon the other person to get your stuff done. And I almost said, should I go honey iced tea? I don't know. Do we curse? I don't know. Like, I curse like a truck driver in real life. And I hear, I hear people cursing on YouTube, but then I hear a lot of people boop and out. Now, these are not for, these games are for adults as far as I'm concerned. What I'm providing is information for adults. So 
I just kind of hesitate, and if one of those zingers fly out, I apologize if it offends you, but it is in my nature. So, but getting back to my my story, <laughs> or my my not story, but my ra 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 rationale reasoning, um, is that I had a game group, and there was like eight or ten of us that would get together, and there were four maybe who were kind of like, yeah, we're here to play, we want to play, let's get to playing. And then we had some that were more about like the snacks, and then we had some that wanted to chit chat. And it got to the point where, because we're teachers, and a lot of them were teachers, we'd spend like an hour, like just cry complaining, complaining about the injustices and misrepresentations of teachers. And how we were being treated. And of course you're probably. Maybe some of you are rolling your eyes. Because you think the teachers got it easy. And you have no sense of. What's happening. Um, in reality. And um, you need to talk to. A teacher and really get a sense of. What happens sometimes to us. But anyway that's a different story. And that's a different channel. That's for my, blog, my, for my vlog. But if you're going to be in a group. Where you're going to be chatting. A lot. Games like this, Karuba, or games where you, you, you have your own board. So yes, you're playing a game together. And you all see, like, this is so pretty, I want to keep it. But anyway, because um, this is the type of thing you can totally do something with if you're a crafter. And I would totally hold on to this in another lifetime. But I am trying to scale back because I have to move. But anyway... So getting back to my point of my story, right? Because I have a couple of minutes left and then we can wrap this up because we've already looked at everything. But these type of games where they afford themselves to be playing the same game, competition against each other to see who's going to win, who's more uh, clever, who's more um, precise to detail, who can, you know, puzzle it out better than the next person are perfect when you have that game night where you guys are... Just like, um, you know, they want to chat. So I could sit there for a minute and really look at my board and ignore their conversation. And then when I'm done, because, you know, they're done. They're like, whatever. And they're chatting. Um, move on to the next the next pull. So I believe this is like that. Um, that you pull a card and everybody else has to place that same card. At least I think that's what I remember being. Yeah, there's an architect. Draws a world tie, tile. So there is no, there is no player marker for the architect, which is interesting. I don't know if that rotates. Um, each turn. Is, uh, yes. Does the architect change? I wonder. Let me take a quick look. Sorry. So I think the architect stays with one person. Everyone has a, to a tree token. The construction token passes one player to the left. All right, yeah. So this is kind of just like that. So if, if, if you're the architect and you're playing purple and you draw 16, everybody else draws 16. I'm assuming that they're all going to be similar. Yeah, like I'm going to find a matching tile to look at that now. Now that I think about it, like Heinz, um, here's another 16. So yeah, so these are 16s of two different colors and I'll show you that in a minute. So the architect will pull the first one. And then everybody else will pull that same tile and place it on their tableau in any way, shape, and form. So, that's a good one for those moments. Um, the architect stays the same for the entire game. I was going to say, like, almost like, this is kind of like um, the type of game that you can play remotely. Because uh, a person... <laughs> if you really, But you have these little guys here, which then makes it a little harder. Because in Karuba, you can play that remotely. Um, I'm like... Send send your most trusted person a full set of the tiles in a little envelope and say, hey, we're going to play Legendary Forest. 
grab your tiles out. But how they would mark the trees is another story. I guess it could be um, the person who's the architect, you, since you're the host. You'll be the architect every single time, and you can have all those trees, and they will say, I grabbed the pink one, and you can put it to the side, and they can just get themselves some other tokens, right? You could even create little round um, markers of your own that you can include, like little paper or cardboard, other cardboard, and send it to a friend. If you wanted to break up a game, because I know there are people out there, like I have a friend who doesn't want to play remotely, and his uh, claim is that, um, you don't have the tactile feel of the pieces. Now, with rolling rights, I don't think that that's an issue. But games like this, tile base, where, you know, you kind of want to, you know, you want to feel the tiles. If you're so inclined, this game was not that expensive at all. You could send it to five friends, or well, four friends and yourself, and you can zoom it, like, once a week. And they would have the tactile experience of having the 25 tiles and some kind of marker that you would track... You know, as as you went. And I don't know. It's an idea. So what do you think of my idea? Anyway, I think I'm going to stop there because I don't want to go past 20 minutes. I think we saw a good amount of what was in here. Components are pretty. Um, there's enough for the five people. There is some organization that needs to be done inside the box, I think, to make it easier to uh, take it out of the box. Because if I had to then sort through this every single time, I might want to, you know, shoot myself in the head. But I'll get some baggies. And, um everything will be good to go i would say you could put dividers in here as well but then you'd have to like pick up all of them i'm just here's a bag and call it a day so if you um have you played this game is it going to be worth my while is it very similar to karuba let me know in the comments and if not i wish i could play it on stream but i mean we play karuba hmm I gotta see. Uh, who knows? Maybe I might get inventive and play this live on my Twitch stream. We shall see. We shall see. But regardless, play more games. And remember that board gaming is not a spectator sport. So you gotta grab those dice and play. And come back again. Check out what I have to unbox. Let's look inside the box. Let's even try to play a little solo. Um, and I will catch you guys next time. So take it easy.